Hello, 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 everyone. We definitely have a different day going on today. We're going to help out a buddy, do a little haul mission. Let's get to it. Start up this beautiful grizzly. One of my buddies came down with a sickness and he had a contract to do a haul mission uh, for a guy. So, beans, I have my CDL, have everything I need. Uh, I offered to say that I will do the haul mission for him and hopefully it just kind of be a uh, friendly thing to do and he can collect the money. But I gotta say, I'm kind of excited about it. So, my good buddy Leon bought a hauling business or corporation he has this beautiful peterbilt right here he had a contract to haul some exotic cars across state lines he only issue is he came down with some sickness so i offered to haul because one i kind of want to run this new rig i mean look at this thing look at that beautiful chain on the front and everything this is one beaut. I thought it would be pretty sweet to be able to run one of these uh, semi-call car haulers. Man, that's kind of hard to say. I can't say it very good. But, uh, whew. I'm not for sure how many cars this thing holds, but it looks like... So, I've always liked how... I've always watched these things that when they unload at dealerships and everything... I don't know, I'm a snooper, but I, I thought it's kind of cool because these beds just move every which way. I always wondered, do some of them ever once in a while put one of these beds down on the car? Yeah, I would think so. I thought it'd be pretty cool to be able to run one of these. So Beans, my buddies, he has his business, Leon. Uh, he, he just started up, so he, he wants to impress people. He wants to get his clientele out there. So, but the only issue is he is sick and in the hospital bed, so he is recovering, but he can't run this truck. So I offer to run this truck. This thing is sweet. I sure bet. I've always wondered when these things are running down the road, I bet they rattle like a tin can down the road. Just because all the moving pieces and items on there, I bet they just rattle back and forth. Bet that gets kind of annoying, but it is kind of fun. I don't know. Maybe I should have liability insurance to run this because uh, put a whole bunch of money on cars running across state line. What if I wreck? That wouldn't be good. Insurance company probably wouldn't even pay for it even though. Look at this beautiful wood grain in here. Start this thing up. You lower these beds down like that. That's kind of cool. Raise them up. I really like that aluminum kind of great feel it has on it. We'll put it down because, uh, well, then you lower this down. And then you drive that up on there. And I believe you would load the top first. I don't know. I guess this is going to be like a puzzle once we get and start loading cars up. All I know is I am going to chain these things down like a mother, because I don't have any liability insurance. This thing is gonna be pretty cool, I think. So I'm surprised this thing is a dragon, because this thing rides real low. Pretty cool setup. So I did went and I got these earlier from Leon, so I would be ready in the morning to make this run. All right, got to do the light check. Got to make all sure all these lights are. DLT, man, them guys are, they're terrible. They'll get you on any little light that's out. It's one thing I hear about lights on trucks. Oh, didn't put my beacons on, better turn them on. All right, we will let that air build up. I need to go feed the cattle here first. I, I've been kind of neglecting them per se. Wow. Before I get too far, this thing is a dirty mess. Bring out our pressure washer here. 
wash this thing off clear quick. I don't know. Maybe it's... I don't know. Do you guys ever... Do you guys always wash your vehicles? I'm kind of a wash nut, I guess. You guys will have to let me know. Sometimes... I don't know. Every single time I get in a dirty vehicle, I just feel dirty. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just weird. Alright. They ain't the purtiest. Wouldn't take a picture of it, but it will do just to run it over there to the feed trough. We did get our horses out of our neighbor's field, finally. They are up at Jim's place. So, to be honest, Jim said he'd take care of them, but I know, know for sure if I trust him. He's not the most reliable since he's been dating my uh, cousin, so we're going to have to keep our eye on old Jim. He's, uh, he's always worried about uh, taking care of my cousin and not his farm. Alright, we'll park this right here, and then grab some, a little bit of snack and everything, and we will be on our way. Gonna drive the old Pete. Pete across state lines. Let's see, drive out of this uh, gate. This is kind of tricky, especially how low that trailer runs. Woo! Woo, careful. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, I'm gonna have to widen that uh, entrance right there. It's always miserable getting a semi, a white team wheeler through it. Here we go. Headed down the road now. Let's see if anybody's on this channel. Breaker Breaker 1 minus Stevio. Heading on 64. Anybody out there? Hang on, buddy. Yeah, who's this again? This is Stinky Pete. I'm in the red uh, at the Chrome Dome. Well, nice to hear you. How's the cushion going? Come on, Mac. Someone's bleeding on you. Bye to feed the bears. Alright. Alright, Hot Seat Pete. See you later. Alright, try to stay within the lines here, I guess. I don't want to get too crazy. See, our corn is actually doing fairly good right there. Alright, try to stay 55. Ooh, going a little bit quicker than 55. Better slow it on down. Passing the John Deere dealership right here. Look at them beautiful deers. Over there to the side of us, that'd be where Jeremy's auction was just sad to see a farm go like that and this Pete eh, I don't know what exactly has in it for a motor but it seems like it's a little underpowered oh well of course we're gonna stop in at the old truck stop here mmm got me some hot cocoa Ready for a long run. Luckily, I didn't get to see him. I do not like talking to this that guy. I've seen him around here, and he always tries bugging me. I don't know how how I always get lucky enough to see him all the time. So the area we are going to, I did look at it on the map last night. It's a little odd to me. It just seems kind of secluded. I know the maps when you're looking at it on Google Maps and all that stuff really don't tell you everything you need to know but it just seemed odd I'm not for sure I hope I'm not getting into anything that let's just say I should bring my Coke 45 for it just seemed odd but we'll see what we got I'm trusting Leon that he didn't put me into to a predicament, but we have a few hours of hauling to get before we get there. I'll catch you back in a little bit.
wish they had uh, AC vents down there or ventilated seats because I'm starting to get a little uh, butt sweat. Sitting on these leather seats a little bit too long. Definitely, yeah. Just need a little air down there, if you know what I mean. Alright, I think we are, should be about to the area. I uh, think so. Oh. Is this it? Uh oh. Let's uh, no. Pretty sure this is it. Let's see. Up, yep, coach. Highway J. Okay. Ooh, I don't know. This is supposed to be it. What the heck is this all about? Oh, this looks sketchy. This open? Well, the fence is open. Why are these in my way? Luckily, somebody did not fill these barriers up with water, so they're just the weight of plastic. Got to push these all over here. There we go. All right, all right. Time to get the truck out of the highway. Probably should have put my blinkers and my flashers on. Whew. This is going to be tight. Man, I hope I don't damage Leon's truck. This thing is not exactly made for this type of roads. We are on a country road right here. Yeah. This thing is made for hard packed surfaces only. Let's see, I think it should be down, it should be down this just keep following this country road. It always scares me when I'm going down these country roads, especially in a big semi like this. One, what if you have to back up? That is not a fun experience. Definitely always want to be able to turn around a semi. Coming up, do we? Up. Is this it? look at my phone quick yeah this is it what the heck uh, I think we found it Ooh. Ooh. Uh, this is giving me the weeby jeezies this doesn't look good. Oh, man. I'm gonna call Leon and find out what the heck he got me into. Alright, well, called Leon and he said that, uh, it's good money. He begged me and begged me to, uh, do the deal, take the contract. I don't know, I'm a little bit leery about this whole ordeal. Apparently, all the cars should have keys, and he told me where to get the keys at. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, I don't get shot. Holy cow, look at this. This looks like a Nissan. This looks like it has a bleacher set on the back. Fast and Furious. Are these uh, Fast and Furious kit cars here? I guess they do. They are ringing some bells here. Not for sure who drove this one. Look at the little NOS in the passenger seat. Whoever's in the rear view seats can watch some DVDs too back there. That's nice. Alright, got the keys. I feel kinda unsafe with that much NOS sitting right there. Well, didn't blow up. And look at that. N2O. I got two buttons here. Got my radar detector. 
Yeah, this just looks naughty inside. Wow. Eight point harness seat. Pretty nice. Guess maybe I should pull this out so I can get the other cars out. We're gonna have to figure out how we want to do the loading here. I don't think everything's gonna fit on this truck. That might be a little bit of a challenge trying to get all this stuff on. All right, we got a Supra here. Racing Mart, NOS. Yeah, this is definitely a Fast and Furious car. It looks like these are Fast and Furious car kits. Ty Toyota Supra. It's got the NOS in the back, so it takes off the back of your head when it explodes. Look. We're worried about uh, performance, but we have, what is that, amps? Definitely got all the amps we need back there. Wow, steering wheel looks a little close to me. Well, they all start up pretty nicely. Wow. Something's wrong with the steering wheel. It's trippy. I guess I want to get out of this situation as quick as possible, so I'm going to start loading these things uh, I don't want to get I don't want to be here longer than I have to let's just say that I feel like uh, I'm gonna find drugs in one of these cars or something all right after messing with it for a while I figured out I thought this would lower and I could just drive it onto that but apparently that's my inexperience so I did lower out these ramps so they come out which allows me to ramp up so I think what I have to do is unhook this so I can load a vehicle right in here first. So that's the first because I won't be able to load anything if I don't load anything else. Wow, that's a real narrow ramp there. Ooh, Ooh don't want to fall off that. Uh, we, oh, we got it on there. Oh, yeah. That was painless actually. Ah, looking good. All right. I think that should be good. Huh? Let's load up this, uh, what is this, uh, Nissan here? GT? I'm not for sure what this is. It's definitely foreign because we're sitting in the opposite side right here. Man, that truck looks awesome. That is one mean looking Duramax right there. Didn't get it exactly straight, so I'm hoping I don't fall off here. Ooh, 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 oh, yep. Woo! Alright, got that. We are good to go. Woo! Hopefully that does this support holds. Man. We're done for if it doesn't. Western Star here. Coca-Cola truck. That's odd. Why would a Coca-Cola truck be in here? Winston. 9587. That's the modder that made all these. Start this up. Wow. This is a nice little sleeper back there. Looks like that's might have some velvet in the back and everything. That's nice. I, we're definitely not going to be able to pull that thing. This thing looks heavy. Ooh, man, does this thing look heavy. So we got a Silverado 4500 HD. It's got, look at them pipes. This thing is chromed out to the floor. Everything chrome. This thing has got to weigh a ton. No way am I going to take this. It looks like it has the Texas flag in the back there. Oh, we got a GMC. Looks like a half ton GMC. All terrain. Got the, a red uh, leather package in here. Whoa. Look at this. Some red wood grain here. That's odd. You don't see that all the time. It's definitely a little unique. Ooh, we got the 5.0, the Mustang, the 
the Stang is here. Ah, uh, man, somebody raced this thing out inside. Got gauges over there. That's kind of cool. I like how them gauges are. Well, we got NOS all over the place here. Oh, we got an old Plymouth Fury back here. Look at this old boat. Got the wings in the back. Man, this looks like a beautiful old car. How luxurious this is. Look at that carpet. Man, if that carpet don't get you, I don't know what will. Got some white wall tires on there and everything. Definitely not going to trust the suspension package that thing has on it at 150. Ooh, look at this. An F1000 with BF Goodriches on there. Look at this old Ford. Now, this is a good looking Ford. But it definitely looks sporty, that's for sure. I'll give it that. What do we have here? This is the Plymouth Roadrunner? I don't know. I might have said that wrong. Somebody will have to correct me if I'm wrong. Or is this a Plymouth GTX? I don't know about them them rims, though. Why, why would you do that to this? Oh, inside is beautiful. Look at this. Now, this is the car. Man, I love that stick shift on the floor. It looks like somebody cut it out of from a knife. Uh-oh. Did it? Does that sound like a <gasps> siren? Uh, uh, I didn't know what to do. What? Do I duck? Do I hide? Oh. Oh. Keep your uh -oh. hands in the air. Walk okay. backwards towards the sound of my voice. Uh, I can't see where I'm going. Don't go. Oh. oh no. I, I don't know where to go. Oh. I'm walking back. Put your hands in the air. Hands are up. I'm walking back. Alright. Get on your knees. Get on your knees. This is not working out for me. Leon got me in big trouble. They don't even want to hear it. Oh, man. Hopefully, I will see you again over here in Missouri. Catch you next time, I think. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. Oh man, this is not where I thought I'd ever be in my lifespan. Okay. Don't forget to like the video.